Hello bookworms, welcome to the Weekend Readers Book Club, thank you for joining us. In this episode we are discussing the 1995 released sequel to Forrest Gump, Gump and Co by Winston Groom. Now a few episodes back I did read Forrest Gump and I did enjoy it. So I decided to read the sequel, Gump and Co, which is a continuation of the story of the life that is Forrest Gump. In this book, we carry on the story 10 years in the future. We meet Forrest, down in his luck, his shrimping business has gone under, his ex-girlfriend or fling, Jenny, has passed away. Her husband has passed away and now he needs to step up and take responsibility for his young son Forrest Jr. With no job and responsibilities, Forrest Gump then decides to do what he does best and goes off and has adventures to be able to, well, support himself and his son for the future. Now this story somewhat carries on the same pretense as the original Forrest Gump book where you find Forrest going off and doing some crazy, crazy stuff including playing in the NFL, developing (laughs) new coke, meeting another president, going across to another war, breaking down the Berlin Wall and also finding that, well, he can turn all his luck around and start another multi-million dollar company. Now, what I enjoyed about this book is it was a great continuation story about Forrest 10 years in the future with no movie pretense to guide you, similar to how the Forrest Gump movie and the Forrest Gump book were slightly different. This, as a standalone book, as a sequel, was an absolutely great read. I actually enjoyed this book more than I enjoyed the first book, Forrest Gump. One of the great highlights in Gump & Co. is where Forrest and Forrest Jr. are at a restaurant and they meet a famous celebrity. And whom that famous celebrity is, you may ask? It's none over than Tom Hanks. Yes, the guy that played Forrest in the movie had a conversation with Forrest Gump, admitting that his life should be turned into a movie. I found that, coming full circle, a great read. In addition to what I liked was there are a lot of characters from the first book pop up in this book again which is great to see because not only were you invested in Forrest Gump after the Forrest Gump book the supporting characters still like it brings closure and somewhat brings you up to date to where the supporting cast is and where they're up to now especially as this book is based 10 years in the future that was great to see as well The one thing I didn't like about this book was the pretense that Forrest Gump brought down the Berlin Wall. Now, I know that there are some wacky stuff in both books that Forrest gets up to. I get that, but the pretense that how the wall was brought down and why Forrest had to jump over the wall and then jump back, it was completely crazy to me. And it took me out of the book a little bit, but in saying that, besides that little, little piece, I absolutely love the book. I love the ending, I love the way the book is structured, and I tell you, it was an amazing read, and a very easy read as well. Now you may be asking, with my positive outlook and review of Gump and Co by Winston Groom, will this book be sitting on my bookcase? And the answer is yes. It will be sitting right next to Forrest Gump. I'm keeping both of them because I'd love to come back and reread them in a year, two years time. And read them back to back at the same time because it would tell a great story altogether. 
and it would be a great way to spend a weekend reading both these books. Now, as always, don't take my word for it. You too can go out and grab a copy of Gump and Co by Winston Groom by visiting our links in our bio below. There, you'll find our Amazon affiliate links where you will be able to pick this book up via paperback, Kindle or audiobook and have a read or listen to determine if you yourself enjoyed Winston Groom's Grump and Co as much as I did. So as we do at the Weekend Readers Book Club, as one book closes, another has to open. It is now time to find out what the Weekend Readers the next read is. The next read is brought to you by FontyTees.com. It's just fonts on tees and more. Visit today at FontyTees.com. Bookworms, we can confirm the next read for the Weekend Readers Book Club is Beautiful You by Chuck Palaunik. Now, I may have mispronounced that surname, but we didn't mispronounce the title, Beautiful You. I picked up this book because I read the blurb and it got me really interested. The subject matter that I'll go into next episode, very intriguing. Um, so it should be an interesting read. I've never read Chuck Palahniuk before. So I will go with open eyes and an open mind to see how I enjoy his writing style and the book Beautiful You. So that there was our discussion and review of Gump and Co by Winston Groom, the sequel to Forrest Gump. If you're reading along with us or wish to engage us, you can. We are on Instagram at Weekend Readers Book Club or on YouTube and Spotify via The Weekend Readers. Until next time, thanks again for joining us. And bookworms, happy reading.